What's going on guys, Matt over here with Lethal Garage and today I have a new update for the Lethal truck. As you guys know, I got a 2018 Dodge Ram 1500, 5.7 liter Emmy. Hmm. Oh, whatever. Uh, and the bed. So I am going to be doing a line X to the bed. I didn't get it from the dealer already on the truck because this was a bare bones truck and I'm slowly adding things to it to make it better. In my opinion, whether or not you agree with me or not, I don't care. <laughs> But it will be getting a Line X next week. And uh, the other thing is, is I want to get a ton out cover. Now, there's a lot of options on the market. There's the flush mount. There's a couple sit top ones that are pretty cheap, pretty expensive. The options are pretty endless. Now, when it comes to which one's going to last and be good for the price, that's the question. Now, I took to Amazon. I took to the uh, Ram truck forms. I went everywhere and was looking at what everybody was doing. Uh, and it seemed like most people settled on... I think this is pronounced tiger the tiger ton out covers uh this thing is like 200 and some change on amazon has really good reviews everyone says it keeps the rain out water all that greatness we'll find out but today let's go ahead and open this up and install it on the truck let's see how it looks let's do it so i've decided to use probably the dullest blade in the history of blades the tips broke the blade doesn't cut it's like <laughs> Let's see if it cuts. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't cut towards yourself. Yes, Mom. Ah, oh, get out of here. Okay, so... It's like Santa Claus. Sorry if you guys... They have a little, I can't see. So sun's bright, yes. But it's like in a little baggie with a tie. Now this is a cheap baggie by any means. It's not super nice, but that's kind of cool that they did that. You can store it without it getting too dusty and dirty. And I'm gonna set the camera down. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna take this bag off. So I'm gonna lay this on top of the truck and we'll read the instructions. Because we at Lethal Garage care about warranties. Not really. Let's just see what's in here. Magnetic LED light. What? There's a magnetic LED light. Is that uh storage bag, bed cover. And this is the clamp pad. So they're telling me to do this, that, and that, and that. Step one, clean truck bed thoroughly before installation. Place the assembled cover on the truck bed against the bulkhead. Make sure it's even on all sides. Then unbuckle the safety straps. Okay. Let's, uh, I think I have it backwards because it shows the clips being on that side. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, per the instructions, it's now lined up. Safety belt buckles undone. Securing front clamps. Here's the hardware. It's kind of wrapped up right now, so I think we gotta unwrap it, unhook it, tighten it down, and it clamps it on there. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna try to get the camera in there so you can see. I think I might have a small cone I can set the camera on. Fortunately and unfortunately, the hardware has some tape. Let's go ahead and rip this all off. It's like thin, thin cardboard. Let's see here. So that comes down. Uh, what is this? I'd really like to know what that is. That's step three. So this is step three. We don't care about this right now. We just care about this. So this is the safety clamp, or not the safety clamp, but the regular clamp of course they have it like all the way in the down position so you gotta you gotta do a lot of screwing and I don't know if this is too far forward or too far back yet so I'm just gonna make this snug for now that's pretty good 
repeat the other side. Okay, now once you have both sides of this basically strapped in, you'll see there's obviously a little foot in it. You'll tighten it down again. I'm not tightening mine all the way down yet because I want to make sure I have it aligned. Uh, but you do have the safety strap. Now, this is a secondary production line, so if your bed or if the tonneau goes flying off, this is supposed to catch it. Now, you want this clamp seated all the way up on the metal, make sure it's there, and then you're just tightening it down. And again, this is primarily safety precaution, secondary measure. Now, you could still move the tonneau cover a little bit with this on there. It does have a little bit of play, uh, but it is a safety measure. And repeat on the other side. And one thing to note, I did tighten this as tight as I possibly could make it on both sides. It still kind of wiggles a little bit if you really pull on it, but that's as tight as it's gonna go. Yeah. Okay, now that we got the clamps in, The rear clamp, so it pulls on down. They do have it, there's three different adjustments. I'll probably end up moving mine to the inside peg. But you can see here, for it to work, you need this plastic piece to make contact with the metal of the bed. Now, this is hard to do one-handed. So you get it all the way down, get it up under the lip, and you can lock it in now. I could probably tighten this up. Now to tighten it up, you just, you turn it just like this. It gives you a couple adjustments, like just get it underneath the corner. I could probably get it a little, a little bit more. There we go. There, that's nice and tight. So you wanna make sure you have a nice tight fitment that the plastic thing's on the lip of the metal. Keep in mind there's a plastic cover here. Should be good, repeat on the other side, get her done. So the interesting thing is, is in the package it comes with a set of rubber stripping, which I'm assuming it's for the very forward front side because I could see a little gap of light, but nowhere in the instructions does it actually talk about that until the very end. So, let's see here, where is it? I could have swore it said somewhere. Uh, I thought it said something somewhere. Gap between cover and the truck bed. Apply the provided seal to the gap between the cover and the truck. So that's the troubleshooting. So I'm assuming maybe not all trucks have the gap and that's why they throw it in there and don't highlight it. But the downside is, is I have to completely undo the front side clamps to get this on. Yay. So I get to go do that. Fun. Okay, so as you can see, the plastic bed liner that came stock on the truck, there's a gap. That's mainly where the gap is on the cover. So I'm just gonna put a weather seal from edge to edge, and that is included in the package. Whoa, what are you doing, camera? My camera doesn't wanna work with me. So here's the edging. You can measure it to size, cut it down, and uh, could you grab me a pair of scissors? <laughs> Upper right-hand drawer, I think, or the drawer below it. Yes, thanks to Ghost IO7 who stopped by randomly to the rescue so I don't have to try to climb underneath this again. I'm a giant, so it's hard for me to climb under and over things. Whoa, my gimbal's totally done for, I right, cut. So I'm gonna run this as close to the back edge as possible. Hey. So there you go, weather strip is on. And I cut it a little bit longer than it's supposed to and then tucked it in so it 
You can kind of see it bulging a little bit there, but I don't think that's a bad thing. So now I'm gonna flip this back over the other way, put the safety clamps back on, get this clamp properly. Now the nice thing is, is now that I have this up, you can kind of see where you can adjust the actual clamps here. I did find in the rear, it lines up pretty good, but, or sorry, the front, I guess this would be considered the front, is uh, pretty good. But the rear, this rear one's at a really crazy angle, so I'm gonna move that one over. Um, but yeah, it's literally, a screw bolt in here that you undo and you can pull this out and then you just move it over to whichever uh, slot you want it to line with so these ones I, like I said in the front are good just this one on this side on the rear on this side over here it looks like I don't have that much play and the clip is just hanging over the edge and yeah so we'll see well there you have it target cover on the truck I think it looks really clean, looks good. I'm happy with it. I could probably make it a little more straight. Oh, that exhaust sounds terrible on that Mustang. Could probably straighten it out a little bit on each side. This side, I mean, it looks straight. I don't understand where the, it's like perfect on this side and like super wavy on this side. I don't know if it's just the truck bed or whatever, but it's definitely sealing. I guess I could probably go in there. See if there's any light. <laughs> there's no light coming from the front or the side. So it's definitely sealed tightly in those regards. And when I close this, it's definitely creating a tight seal. So it looks good. Up front, it's sitting nicely, I think. Yeah, I wonder if the, this bed is like, I guess it does curve on both sides, but this side it's sitting a little bit more forward. I wonder how it looks in the back. Looks pretty straight in the back. I don't know. Maybe my bed's officially crooked. Maybe that's the issue. Yeah. But there you have it. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm perspirating on my forehead because that happens when I do things. Uh, but there is the Tiger cover, ton out cover, folding, trifold, uh, awesomeness. It's really inexpensive on Amazon if you guys are looking for something quick and easy. Uh, I think the product looks great on the truck. Now it's time to level and put my wheels and tires on this bad boy so it looks more like a man's truck instead of an old man's truck. So let's go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching. If you guys are interested in more Dodge Ram videos, stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Follow all that greatness. Leave comments below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And as always, hope to see you on the road.